An asteroid big enough to destroy a city could hit Earth in months. This is what the European Space Agency is warning us of. This is by Sean Martin on Express UK. An asteroid is approaching our Earth, according to the European Space Agency. So they're warning us it has a chance of smashing into our Earth. A 40 meter wide, that's about 120 feet wide asteroid, due to pass September 9th. Experts are warning of a chance of a collision. The asteroid is called 206 QV89, and at 40 meters, or 120 feet across, it's big enough to destroy a whole city. The European Space Agency, ESA, states that there is a 7,000 to 1 chance that the space rock will come crashing to Earth, and while the chances may be slim, the ESA says it represents a non-zero impact probability. This means scientists are not 100% sure of its trajectory and there is a chance of a collision. The ESA states on its website, in most cases the size presented in the table is estimated indirectly from the absolute magnitude and flagged with an asterisk to denote its large uncertainty. When a better measurement is available in the literature, it replaces the estimated value. At 120 feet wide, the asteroid not being big enough to wipe out civilization, but it would be more powerful than the Chelyabinsk incident that we saw a few years back that flew over Russia. And that, of course, as we know, was not even expected. This is according to the ESA. In 2013, a 60-foot meteor exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia. It smashed windows caused injuries to more than 1,000 people, damaged over 7,000 buildings. Experts had not anticipated the incident, leading to fears that Earth could be surprised by a more devastating asteroid strike in the future. Yes, they never saw Chelyabinsk meteor coming in. They said that it's because it was behind the sun, it was coming in from behind the sun, and of course they couldn't see it that way. Jody Homer, professor of Astrophysics at University of Southern Queensland said there is still a huge risk civilization could be destroyed by asteroids. Now, if we look at the Earth, we see various holes on the uh, surface of the Earth, which are asteroid impact craters. We see them in North America. We see them all across the Sahara Desert. We see them in Europe. We see at least 50 huge ones in Australia. Now, in an article from The Conversation, Professor Horner says, The solar system is littered with material left over from the formation of the planets. Most of it is locked up in stable reservoirs, the asteroid belt, the Angworth Kuiper belt, and the Oort cloud, which is far from Earth. Those reservoirs continuously leak objects into interplanetary space, injecting fresh debris into orbits that cross those of the planets. The inner solar system is awash with debris, ranging from tiny flecks of dust to comets and asteroids many kilometers in diameter. The vast majority of the debris that collides with Earth is utterly harmless, but our planet still bears the scars of collisions with much larger bodies. We're still trying to work out how often events like this happen. Our information on the frequency of the larger impacts is pretty limited, so estimates can vary dramatically. Typically, people argue that Tunguska-sized impacts happen every few hundred years, but that's just based on a sample of one event. The truth is, we really don't know how often this happens. While the catalog of potentially hazardous objects continues to grow, many still remain undetected, waiting to catch us by surprise. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial 
subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.